Hello everyone. In the previous videos, I have explained what is this keyword, how this keyword can be used to refer current class instance variables, and how this keyword can be used to invoke current class method. If you haven't watched previous videos, then don't worry. I will provide link in the description of this video. You can go through it. Okay. And in this video, I am going to explain this keyword can be used to pass as an argument in the method call. So first, let's understand what does it mean exactly, and then we are going to see how this keyword can be used to pass as an argument in the method call. And then I will explain why we need to pass this keyword to the method call. What is purpose behind it? Okay, all we are going to discuss in this video. So don't skip the video. Just keep watching till end. You will clearly understand it. Okay, so let's get started. So in Java, method is used to perform certain task, right? And sometimes to perform any task, we need to pass data to the method, so that using that data, method can perform particular task, and we can pass data to the method in the form of parameters, right? And we can pass parameters as integer type, float type. Similarly, we can pass parameters as object type also to the method. For example, now see here, I have created here yum one method, and pass integer type. Parameters, and hence at the time of method calling, I will need to pass integer type value, and hence I have passed here integer value nine. Okay, because this method receive integer type parameters, and that's why here I will need to pass integer type value. Similarly, we can pass object to the method as a parameter. See here, I have passed object to the m2 method. And hence, here I will need to pass object of a class as a parameter to the method call, right? Because here this method receive object as a parameter, and hence at the time of method calling, I will need to pass object as a parameter. Okay, and that's why here I have pass object as a parameter. So how we can pass this keyword instead of object, and what is need of it? All we are going to discuss in this tutorial. Okay. Now it's clear what we have to do, right? Now let's understand how we can do it. That is how we can pass this to the method call. So let's understand it directly through an example. So here we are going to create program to calculate circumference of a circle. Okay, that is we are going to calculate distance around a circle using formula pi into diameter of circle. It's a very simple program. This program will help you to understand. How we can pass object to the method, and using that object, how we can get data from another class, and how we can pass this keyword to the method call. All your doubts will clear due to this one single program. So just concentrate here, okay? So let's create one class here, and it supports circle class. Let's create here one instance variable, and it supports uh, d equals to eighteen, uh, okay? The d represent diameter of circle. Okay, and now let's create uh, main method here. Okay, all right. We can write here diameter of circle. Okay, and let's create one more class here, and it suppose test class. Okay, and let's have one method here, and it suppose calculate method. Okay. And pass here the object of circle class. So here, this method is going to calculate circumference of a circle using this formula pi into diameter of circle. Okay. So here we need value of pi and value of diameter, right? So the value of diameter already we have inside circle class, right? But we don't have the value of pi. So let's create one more variable that will hold the value of pi, and it's suppose p equals to, and we know the value of pi, and it's three point fourteen. Okay, and here we have to put f because here we are using float data type. Here we can write value of pi. Now we have the value of pi and value of diameter. Okay, so let's put them together as per our formula. Okay, and uh, we can directly write inside println method. Okay, so here we can write circumference of a circle, 
and here pi that is p into diameter that is d and here we can write centimeter so here value of pi is available in this class right and that's why we can directly get it but the value of diameter is available in another class that is into a circle class right and to get it from a circle class we need object of circle class because to access data from another class we need object of that class and using that object we can easily access data right so here in this method i have already passed circle class object right so we can use this circle class object to get the value of diameter from circle class okay so here we need to write circle class object that is c dot d so basically here i have passed circle class object to the method as a parameter and using that object i have access data from circle class right so here instead of doing this we can get value of pi directly from math class so math class is a predefined class that is already exist class that java provides us so we can directly get it value of pi from math class okay so we can get it like this simply write here math dot pi so we can directly get value of pi from math class okay or you can create it your own okay so our calculate method is ready to calculate circumference of a circle now to get result from this method we will need to call it and we are going to call this method inside circle class because circle class already working on particular circle and this method is part of this circle class right so let's call it inside main method of circle class okay calculate and here i will need to pass circle class object as i said before if we pass object to the method then at the time of method calling we will need to pass object only okay so here also we will need to pass object of circle class because this method receives circle class object okay so let's create object of circle class inside main method and now pass it to the calculate method as a parameter okay so here we can write cr but here we cannot call this calculate method directly like this because this method is belong to test class object and hence we cannot call it directly for that we need object of test class to call it right so let's create an object of test class okay and it's suppose t and now call this calculate method using test class object that is t dot calculate okay now let's check it out is it working properly or not so let's run the code but before that let me do one thing here here i want to use p okay because i don't want to get the value of pi from math class okay i want to use my own now let's run the code let's see you can see here the circumference of a circle is 56.52 cm okay so up to this i have covered how we can pass object to the method as a parameter and how we can access data from another class using object of that class okay now question comes that what is the role of this keyword in this scenario now see here i have called this calculate method from main method all right but i don't want to call this calculate method directly from main method because in some cases in a program we need to call method from another method so i want to call this method from another method so let's create one method here and it's suppose y1 method okay and let's call this calculate method inside y1 method but this calculate method has received circle class object right and hence here also we will need to pass circle class object at the time of method calling right so here we already create circle class object cr so let's pass it here okay but if i write like this then compiler will raise an error because scope of this reference variable cr is limited for this main method only we cannot use it outside main method because variables declared inside any method are local variables so this a reference variable cr is also a local variable which is pointing to the circle class object and hence we cannot use local variables outside method 
so we cannot write like this compiler will raise an error and another way is we can create new object of circle class okay so let's create it circle suppose cr object okay equals to new circle and pass here okay and one more thing this calculate method is belong to test class object right and hence we can we need to call it using test class object right so let's create test class object here so here test t1 equals to new test okay now call it using test class object right so we can write here that is t1 dot calculate and now call this yum1 method from main method so we can call it cr dot calculate sorry m1 and comment out this line and this line as well we do not need of it anymore so whenever this m1 method get call then automatically this calculate method get call and execute so if i run this program then this program will execute successfully without any compilation error no issue in it okay but imagine you are working on large program and there is need to call this m1 method for more than 100 time that is one time cr dot m1 two type okay similarly if i call this method more than 100 time in a program then what will happen in this case so whenever this m1 method get called then this m1 method will execute and more than 100 new circle class object will create and memory will allocate to each and every object right and due to this execution time may increase and somewhere it will affect on performance of a program right now you are thinking that whenever this m1 method will execute multiple time then this test class object also will create multiple time along with this circle class object right but in this case we don't have any option because to call test class method we compulsory need to create test class object right but here we do not need to create circle class object and all because circle class is our current class on that we are working right so java says that why are you creating object of current class here what is need of it because java already provide you this keyword that always refer or point current class object right so instead of creating new current class object you can simply pass here this keyword because this also a reference variable which refer to the current class object and when we pass object to the method as a parameter then at the time of method calling we need to pass object but in real when we pass object to the method as a parameter then at the time of method call we need to pass reference variable we do not pass object to the method call but it's generally said that we need to pass object to the method call but in real we need to pass reference variable that hold or that refer to the particular object so basically i am trying to say that when we pass object to the method as a parameter then at the time of method call we need to pass reference variable not an object okay because object is not movable right we cannot move object from one place to another in java once we create an object then jvm allocate memory to it on heap that is it store on heap memory we cannot move it but we can move the reference variable of an object and one object can have multiple reference variable clear so basically when we pass object to the method as a parameter then at the time of method calling we need to pass reference variable right and these also a reference variable and hence we can definitely pass it as an argument in a method call so let's pass here this instead of creating new circle class object and comment out this statement okay but remember two things this only refer to the current class object see here this calculate method receive circle class object right that is current class object and hence at the time of method calling i will need to pass circle class object reference variable that is current class object reference variable right and this also a reference variable that refer to the current class object and hence i can pass here this okay as an argument and second thing this only work inside non-static method you can see here this m1 method is a non-static method and hence i can use here this 
इनसाइड यम वन मेथड सो इन दिस वे वी कैन पास दिस की वर्ड एज एन आर्गुमेंट इन द मेथड कॉल विदाउट क्रिएटिंग न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ करंट क्लास क्लियर नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द पर्पज बिहाइंड इट ओके सो इन कंप्लीट सीनेरियो इफ वी नोटिस हियर आई हैव क्रिएट करंट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट वंस एंड वर्किंग ऑन इट विदाउट क्रिएटिंग न्यू वन दैट इज हियर आई हैव कॉल यम वन मेथड यूजिंग करंट क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट राइट एंड हियर ऑल्सो आई हैव यूज this keyword which is pointing to the existing current object to pass an argument in a method call without creating new object so basically if we think i am working on single current class object that is circle class object without creating another one basically i am reusing same current class object without creating new one so here reusability of an object will increase and it can improve the performance of a program so it's better to reuse same object again and again instead of creating hundreds of new object and allocate memory to it right and it become possible only because of this keyword so this keyword help to increase reusability of current object and this is one of the purpose of this keyword so basically java provides this keyword to reuse current object without creating new one clear now let's run the code but before that let me do one thing here here i am not using this reference variable t1 anywhere in a program i have just use it only to call this calculate method so if we are not using this reference variable t1 anywhere in a program then we do not need to create it okay so just remove it and you can directly call this calculate method like this we do not need to create any reference variable and all okay it's also valid so always try to write a program in a efficient way it will be a good programming practice okay so let's comment out this line and this line as well okay all right now let's run the code and let's see is it working correctly or not okay you can see here we have got correct output circumference of a circle is 56.52 cm that's it i hope you understand how we can use these to pass as an argument in method call and what is the purpose behind it for now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching